In this video, we'll show how we extend the internet from a customer's main building to two remote buildings without trenching using a point to multi point wireless solution. This is the cable that goes outside to the unit that's going to be mounted on the lab. Put a, put a uh, Cat 6 jack on it, single port faceplate, put an RJ45 on the other side, and get it tested. The guy that just met me, he got out with a big knife in his hand. I said, That must be the key to the tower. He said, yep. With a big what? Knife. Oh, really? Yeah. Got all the pairs landed on the jack. Take your handy tool here. Terminates jack. Terminates all pairs at one time. Ready to go. Plug it into the plate. Label it. Test it. Put it to work. Data drop's been tested, labeled, plated. Now we'll go outside and mount the wireless unit. Got the data drop terminated from the inside. Got it tested, test good. Getting ready to install the wireless unit up there. It's going to point towards the main building where the internet is and that'll give it connection back to the lab. Or my four holes marked for my mounting plate for my wireless uh, ubiquity arm. I'm going to drill these holes out, then I'll use a rev nut tool, put rev nuts in, then I'll put bolts to fasten the bracket to the, to the wall here. Be sure to like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Uh, it would help me in growing this channel to a thousand subscribers. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. You mind handing it to me since you're there? Yeah. You're all done inside, huh? Um, I'm okay. Got the wireless unit mounted. Pointing towards the main building where the internet demark is. Get the cable ran up. Cable tie mounts fastened here. Do a drip loop. Plug it in, should be good to go. Got the cable ran up, got them fastened with some cable tie mounts. Got the drip loop, got it pointing towards the main building. Black cable is our work, blue and white cable is not our work. Got the slack loop underneath. Black cable is ours, blue and white is what you get when you get a good deal from someone else. At the lab, got the data drop labeled, plugged in, switch port 8. Now we're at the tower. I'm mounting the wireless unit right up there. Got it cabled through underneath where the cable comes through. The cable goes up into the room there. And we'll tie wrap it. That's the cable hanging right there. Tie wrap it to that cable tray. And that takes us outside to where the wireless unit will be mounted. Got the cable ran. Just cutting ties now. Put the trash in your pocket so you don't leave a mess at the customer's site. Got my new cable tie 
mount holder that Jordan got me works really well cable tie all the way down the tray oh yeah she's following me you see me on the screen What do I do again? Tightening it? Hold the red handle? Hold the red handle. Tighten. Do I keep tight? When it gets tight, do I keep doing it or just... Wait, wait. I need to put clips on all mine. At the main building now, getting ready to install the last wireless unit. This is going to be the feeder. Internet D Mark is right in behind this wall. We're going to mount the wireless unit right up there, and we're going to be pointing over at the tower and at the lab. Those two units are installed already. Clean, boys, clean. I'll get that silicone too before we're done. I'll get that thing, I'll go mark it. That brack. Getting the reel of cable. Got it attached to the rod. Get it ready to go in the hole. Extend it over to the D mark. I'm ready. All right, cable's in the hole. Pull all you want. Nice, it's, it's going easy, so it's not dragging or anything. You good? I'm, you're good enough where I can cut it, right? All right, we got the three wireless units mounted. We got one on the lab, one on the tower, and one on the office building. The one on the lab and the tower points to the unit that is mounted on the office building. That's the um, main unit. That's where the internet demark is, and it'll, it'll be extending internet out to the two remote buildings that's the main building unit and this is looking towards the tower and the lab the existing network cabinet this will be where the wireless unit is hosted from to plug into one of the vacant ports on the switch get power from the poe injector here cable labeled make sure you put your tools back where they came from after you finish each job so you're not looking for tools on the next job everything has a spot that uh, little space center is actually pretty nice too 